Good evening. Welcome to another episode in Amsterdam. Wait to follow my travels. This is Murat. We have a guest here. Hello, Hello. Gert Perk. Good he's, evening, he's gonna walk with us together. We will walk through Amsterdam streets in the centrum today. It's a beautiful, uh, clear sky evening in Amsterdam, and it's the temperature is around four or five Celsius on the next hours. It's gonna be decreased to three or two Celsius probably. And today we are gonna walk through Zeedijk, New Markt, and then probably we will visit Dam Square, Damrak, etc. It's gonna be a one hour walking tour together. Enjoy! Let's start our walking tour. Hello Daniel, Robson, Paul, G, OG, Jakob, Angelo is here after work, thanks for coming, Torren, Adrian. Ginge, Daniele, Carmela from Italy, Dash, Dash Cam Driver, good evening. GR. So many people today, Amsterdam is crowded. We noticed that from the central station. There are more tourists, most of them are French or British tourists. And the city is alive again. And there is a lot of music here, so I have to talk more in order to avoid copyright problems. <laughs> Because the weather is a bit chilly, inside of the bars are full, but outside areas are a little bit empty. Look at that. In the summer, you can't find any place outside. And at this weather in February, you can find a place sit inside areas. Good evening, Kolazar, Mohamed, Mohan, Gabriel, Romania. There are so many people with us again today from different countries. And Gert Park, welcome to our live stream first time. Hello, He's yes, here. it's my first time. Hello, everyone. And where do you live, Gert Park? In yes. uh, which area in Amsterdam, for yes. example? I live in the west of Amsterdam. So. Yes. It's, uh, Amsterdam is, is a small city, so everywhere is accessible. It's like a village. <laughs> it's like a village, yes. It's like a village. Uh, our, our common friend, Roy, uh, called Amsterdam like a village, because it's like a circus, you know? Correct. And uh, it's always easy to move around the, between the neighborhoods, different neighborhoods, Correct. from the centrum to west or east. Everywhere is so close, but this is the... Uh, central area, all the tourists and express are usually here at this area. And today is a Friday evening, more people outside and after two years COVID lockdown. And uh, more people want to drink outside and spend time with their friends. Uh, the street is beginning of Chinatown actually. Let me show you around. There is a Lebanese restaurant here, and after that, there is Irish restaurants. I think it's favorite of Angelo. And the other side is the Wallon. The Wallon means the vault. This side is where the other kirk, the old church, is located. Hello, Leslie from Virginia. Let's carry on walking to Zedak. Chinatown slowly actually today after this video probably I'm gonna visit a salsa club <laughs> for some salsa dancing and tomorrow we will be in Harlem with another guest first time guest like Gökberg and on Sunday we will be on Sunday market in Amsterdam with another guest guests actually more oh, like more three, three, three people <laughs> okay, nice. the, my colleagues probably Dutch dash cam driver thanks for the info yes he's right this street was extremely dangerous also the other one Warmostrad in the 80s 70s mm -hmm. you cannot enter to the street because of the high high crime rate and okay. drug dealers and even the police who couldn't manage the situation for 10 years. 
in the middle of Varma Strat, the other street you saw, yes. the crowded one, in the middle of the street, there was a police station, but still, tourists uh, were not allowed to street. I mean, they cannot okay, due uh, to the high crime rate. Yeah. Okay. There were drug addicts, drug dealers, everything was going on yeah. the street. That reminds me of some streets in Istanbul. Oh. This is a whiskey. Oh, <laughs> somewhere in Istanbul. Yeah. This is this was yeah. on my list actually. Zilt, it's a whiskey bar. Zilt whiskey bar. Yes. There are few. There's few whiskey bars. One of them is Jordan, and uh, in the center, and I think this is the only one. Yes. As a whiskey bar. Yes. Mm -hmm. The other one the, is near Light Supply. Wait a second. There's another whiskey bar near Light Supply. Light Supply. What yes. is the name? I know? forgot the name. But uh, it's close to the uh, the small streets in the light supply. Just uh, quarter light supply. Probably. Yes, that type of <laughs> yes. streets. Oh, uh, I remember that. Yes, you remember that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Next to the canal. Eh? Yes, the next to the canal. Yes. I think it's. Uh, I've been there. That was nice. Okay, I, you are also a fan of whiskey. I think <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, not always, but yes. Not only Geneva. How about Geneva? Do you like Geneva? No, actually, to be honest, I've never tried that. I never tried. Oh, no. today we have to try them. Okay, I'm, I'm <laughs> not a real Amsterdamer. Maybe at the end of the video or after the video, we will try Geneva. Okay. Because in the in the last months, I drank a lot of Geneva. To be honest, on the videos usually. <laughs> there are there are two types: young Geneva, old Geneva. Mm -hmm. Old Geneva has more flavor and it's easy to drink. And the Yak Geneva is like a strong one, like vodka, I mean, pure vodka or gin, pure gin. So when you drink Yang Geneva, usually they serve it with beer, also a small beer. One sip Geneva, Yang Geneva, and then one sip beer. Okay. But for all Geneva, it's very easy to drink. It's like, I don't know, like a cocktail. This one is... Thai is a snack bar, I think it's the most popular Thai restaurant. It's very famous bird. Always crowded, always there's a line in front of the shop. Let's take a look to chat. Colin from England. Hello. Hamet person. How often do you meet up with weavers? Never. <laughs> Gökberg is my friend and tomorrow I will meet another friend. Sunday we will meet also friends. So I make videos only with my friends, not with the weavers at the moment. Maybe after 100,000 uh, subscribers, I will plan a uh, meet up with, with the watchers. Okay. I mean, like every quarter, for example. But at the moment, I don't have any wish like that. Sorry about that. Good evening, Mike. This street is, you know, probably one of my favorite streets in Amsterdam because it's called Chinatown, and you know, I love Asian food, Gert Park, and. Uh, I love spicy food, so this street is one of the best places you can find in the centrum for when it comes to Asian food, Asian taste. Because there are Chinese, uh, Malaysian, Japanese, Hong Kong, everything. Also the bars are like old, old school bars. Look at this for example. It's a typical old school Dutch bar. Cozy, small, big screen inside, football. Andre has a place. Andre has a place, yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> That's important. Yes, I also eat a lot of Indian foods. Mohan Kumar, definitely. Hey, Tomisan HG is here. I use 5G, but Tomisan HG, you see? Tomisan HG Tomisan from HG. US. Oh. The nickname is Thomas and okay. <laughs> That's a little joke between us. Ramen, restaurant, Japanese. Thanks, Dash Teshkem. Yes, I know that bar. It has 
some history, but I don't know about that. Please write if you, if you know about that. Because I don't have enough information. For example, ducks, Mandarin cuisine, but Thai. It's a Thai. Actually, it's a chain restaurant, I think, Pad Thai, because I have seen it some other places also as well. But Pad Thai is also one of my favorites. Okay. It's a Thai food. So it's, it's a nice food to me. Delicious Thai. This is another, I call it like Sailor's Bar, Dyke, Duke, Dyke 120, yes. It's also a cozy, dark bar. And as you see on the place, it's in Chinese, also in Latin alphabet. Because we are in Chinatown, the street names are in Chinese as well. And there is a bakery here. This is Chinese bakery. Have you ever tried Chinese bakery? No, I have never. They, they usually make the sweet things like durian, for example. That I tried, yes. Yeah. That I tried, yes, durian pastry. Durian is in some hotels in Thailand, for example. Mm -hmm. It's not allowed to bring durian to the hotel because it smells so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but here they make uh, peanuts, coconut, and usually they use red bean, red bean pastry. It's famous. It's healthy, healthy cookie actually. Almond cookie, nice. Egg roll, Hong Kong muffin. Yes, they use a lot of sugar probably, but also <laughs> some beans, some protein. <laughs> and bubble tea shop. A trend nowadays in Amsterdam. In every corner you can see some bubble tea shops. Hello, Manchester. Hello, Pablo. Have a good trip, Daniel. Oh, hello, Manchester. I think we have a United oh. City Derby, isn't it? Today? No, to I think to tomorrow or Sunday. Oh. Yeah. With Man you mean Ajax and no, Manchester? No, no, no. Manchester United, Manchester City okay. Derby. Hello. <laughs> All right. So let's I, see yeah. what happens. I am an ignorant about football, but uh, yes, no. Jörg Berg <laughs> knows more things than me. Uh, let's take a look to New, new, one, new Markt. This is New Markt. Hello, Dona Camilla. <laughs> the nightlife is much better comparing previous months, of course, because there are not many measures left in the Netherlands, like wearing masks is only mandatory on public transport and hospital and uh, what well, else? Flights. And uh, yeah, that's all. And also, another measure is if you attend to an event with more than 500 people, you still have to provide negative test results. For example, summer concerts, festivals, mm -hmm. you have to get negative test results. This building is Dovah, it's a restaurant I mentioned in the previous videos many times, but uh, in the past it was a city gate and also it was a waking center. Uh, Dovah means wake, wake center. So the traders were meeting here in the local market and they were uh, giving products to the tax officer, so they were calculating taxes. Okay. So in every town almost, there is a building like this, sometimes small, sometimes big like this. Let's turn around the place. And Berg, I'm sure they are curious about what do you do here? What do I do here? What is your profession? Are you retired or yes, do you I'm work? Yes, I retired uh, last year. <laughs> Retired person. I'm 69 years old. 69 years old. Yes. Okay. He's already using pension funds. Yes. Of the Netherlands. That's yeah. great. Are you a Dutch citizen or not? No, I'm not. How long have you been here? 
Uh, I live here for uh, almost five years now. Almost five years. And she's from Turkey also, like me. Yes, I'm also from Turkey. Yes. And we, we both know each other from Salsa Dancing Community, actually. Correct. And she's also a DJ, Salsa DJ. Yes. And dancer. Dancer, DJ, he can speak Spanish. <laughs> sí, claro que sí. Yes. Buenas tardes. There are some Spanish watchers. You, you can speak. Muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> Bienvenido aquí, bienvenidas. Okay, I, I only understand muy bien. <laughs> <laughs> Qué bueno te verlos. <laughs> ¿Qué tal? I know also, ¿qué tal? <laughs> there is a big Latin community in Amsterdam, especially. Yes, yes correct. Not only in South Sanais, but at bars or events, I always see some people from South America and also our queen is from Argentina. So Correct. that's why there are many Argentine restaurants and there are many people from Argentina and Correct. South America. Cheat day, some popular new market uh, bars. Poco Loco is also Spanish, I think. Poco Loco. Poco Loco. <laughs> Lo bit, uh, loco, loco. Crazy. <laughs> Un poquito Quer loco. Querico. <laughs> What querico. is that, Querico? <laughs> yeah, rico means like rich, but Querico, I think, used in a lot of meanings. Uh, Spando, Spando travels, sorry, we don't visit coffee shops on these live streams. We will continue to walk towards Dam Square. Dam Square. <laughs> All right, it's pretty crowded. I mean, it's more crowded than the last Friday, as per my observation, because last Friday I was also around here. I strolled around the streets and then went to the salsa club. One hundred twenty-nine people were watching us. They're watching us. Please hit the like button if you enjoy this tour. We do these live walking tours at least four times a week, and on Saturday and Sunday we will have another live streams. Other live streams like uh, tomorrow we will be in Harlem City, rest of the country, and Sunday I'm gonna visit Sunday Market of Amsterdam at Westergas Fabrik, ne nearby Wester Park, once a month, I think, or twice a month. There's a special local market, it's called Sunday Market, mm -hmm. and they sell some handmade accessories and some food stalls, similar to Roland de Kirken. Do you know Roland de Kirken? Yes, I know. It's a street food market, yes. it's similar like that, yeah. So it's a special one, we will visit that on Sunday after 2.30. Western House Public also reminds me of the salsa parties. Oh, yes. Right? Maybe in the summer it's, it's going to happen again. Yes. Touristic souvenir shop is still open. Let's take a look what are they selling. Of course, we know already, but we want to show yes. them to the subscribers. Typical Amsterdam Max. and some ashtrays with cannabis motifs, designs. All right. And some smoking accessories. <laughs> of course, we have bicycle, old Dutch bicycle. This here, Amsterdam shots, glasses, and some special Amsterdam souvenirs for your friends. <laughs> Don't worry, I will not send to YouTube members. Thanks to YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have 50 of them. Nice, nice. Thank you. 50 supporters. Thanks so much. Many thanks, yes. <laughs> but that Malaysia Express. Oh, there's a Malaysian fast food. It's great. Haven't seen before, I think. So now we left the Chinatown actually, and the other side of the, the Wach building is also called Chinatown. 
now we are at the corner of Dam Strat, Dam Street. Let's take a look to Dam Square, what's going on over there. It's still too early, so we don't see many people drunk on the streets, but after 12 o'clock you should see, <laughs> you should see the ambience. <laughs> Good evening, Dylan. What do you think about the current situation in Amsterdam, Gökberg? Mm -hmm. Is it too crowded or already or not? Yeah, I think it's already too crowded. Mm -hmm. I think life is back and even more than before because uh, due to the previous lockdowns people were uh, bored and yes. now when they find chance uh, they try to go out as much as possible. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I can say Mo that. Mostly, nowadays mostly locals are on the streets but Correct. and neighbor countries like mm -hmm. UK or French Correct. and German tourists. But normally there are all kinds of countries in Amsterdam Correct. Know, from South Asia or United States, Canada, etc., yeah. South America. When I was coming here, I heard a lot of uh, British English, German, so it's actually yes. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of tourists also coming back from the neighbor countries indeed. Yeah. Good point. Have you ever tried joint Gukwek? I don't know that. It's a real question. <laughs> a real Have you question. ever tried joint? Joint wheat? Um, Have you ever smoked? I mean. No. Alright. Do you wanna try it? In the future? <laughs> In the future. Is that <laughs> or like magic a, mushroom? What? How about like magic mushroom? <laughs> no, this is completely I'm against. Magic mushroom? Yes. Why? Yeah, because Health, healthy, he health reasons. Health for, for stomach and etc. And uh, I know it smells it's, like... It's protein. <laughs> <laughs> mushroom, mushroom protein. You know, it's yeah. the main food for vegans. <laughs> yes, but, it smells but, like but soil. Not the magic one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the magic one is a bit different. <laughs> yeah, I tried uh, three times actually. Yeah, I think once in a lifetime it should be experienced, but it's up to the person. Mm -hmm. To me, I mean, three times was too much, maybe. <laughs> but I mean, once is enough, to, to be honest. <laughs> Oops. Um, we are next to the red zone. Red Light District. Right side is the main streets, main canal of uh, Rezon, I think. No, the other one. The, the beginning of Rezon. Actually, we already passed through the main streets. Hi, Marathon DJ. Let's take a look to the view. Uh, the most famous coffee shop, Bulldog. And in distance, is San Basilica Church or Old Church? The Old Church, I think. Oh, there is a tourist boat, cruise. There is a beautiful view at the moment with that red, blue lights. Thanks to Bulldog Coffee Shop, they have some fancy blue <laughs> lights. And the other colors are coming from the sex shops, sexy Amsterdam, etc. Let's continue to our walk. Go back. Do you think you would live here in the Netherlands until end of your life? <laughs> Forever, I mean. Forever. <laughs> or do you have any wish to go back to Turkey in some time later? I mean like five years later or ten years later. Uh, what do you think? I I don't know about it yet. Let's see. All right. <laughs> because most of my colleagues who work here or live here for more than 10 years, they are against the wind 
bad weather, so they always have a plan to move to another sunny country like Spain or Italy or going back to the Turkey or Greece because you know we have a shitty weather here usually <laughs> even in the summer it's windy so even in the summer you have to carry your jacket or umbrella so maybe sometimes later we will get bored about that I don't know for me it's generally enough when I go for a vacation so when I go on a vacation to a sunny place, it's generally fine for me, but I don't know, maybe in 10 years or more, let's yeah. see that for sure. I don't know also what I'm going to think about that. Yeah. This is the tribute to Argentine. Two Argentine restaurants together, tribute to Pablo. Pablo, our supporter from Argentina. It's a good evening, pretty crowded. I like the ambience today. Hello, Bill McMath. Good evening. I like tortoise. Our moderator is here, Dom Strachev. Yes, we walk through Dom Strachev at the moment. Another Argentine restaurant, Argentina Grill. Next to that, Mexican, the Mexican. Chipsy King is, I love that brand, Chipsy King. It's a funny. <laughs> it's a chain, chain password. Hola, Alvaro. Alvaro is here. All right. What we're going to do is we will walk through Damrak and a little bit central station. If it's also okay for you, go back. The tourists are here. Yes. <laughs> Dam Square is empty. During the day it's overcrowded, but at this time, of course, nothing happens. But still better than the New Year Eve at 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> the New Year Eve, we were, Sonar is my friend, we were at Rembrandt Lane. We were the only two persons at the square. <laughs> at 9 o'clock something okay. and all the bars, restaurants were closed. I was carrying my Turkish herbal tea on my back, you know that? <laughs> it's a special one. <laughs> Jameson Turkish herbal tea. <laughs> yeah, I, I watched yeah, your video. We, we drank that, yeah, yeah. okay. Yes. You, met, uh, you met a Romanian couple, I think. You uh, had yeah, so funny conversations. Here at that corner. Correct, <laughs> correct, correct. It was so fun. <laughs> Good old days. Yes, yes. <laughs> For the people who don't know about that, this is the Royal Palace and this is Dam Square and right side the new church, Nieuwe Kerk in Dutch. And this is Madame Tussaud, Tussaud Museum, but it's under renovation, but it's still open because I see the line in front of that. And uh, next to that there is a famous shopping street, Kalferstraat, and that side is Canal, Canal Belt. And we are going to walk through Damrak. Yes. Until the central station. Moises Fernandez Franco, thank you so much. Another day during daytime. I'm gonna try Puccini Bomboni again, Chocolate Company. It's the, the best uh, chocolate shop probably okay. in Amsterdam. Nice. Puccini Bomboni. It's Italian, much of a But it's a bit expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miriam from Canada. 
Thank you so much. Have a nice weekend. This is Damrak. This is a field area in the past. It was Damrak Canal until Rokin. So this is a field area. Dutch dash cam driver, yes. One of my live streams, I took a bicycle taxi and we hang out around in the center from Rembrandt Lane to the central station. We did a little tour with bicycle taxi. I think you are also doing that job, probably. I think tomorrow it's gonna be more and more crowded at the street I mean Damrak. Because already there are many tourists around and tomorrow there will be more. You know you don't need to stay in quarantine when you arrive to the Netherlands any longer. If you have third dose and negative test results, when you arrive to the Netherlands, you don't need to stay in quarantine, you can directly go out and no COVID pass, no check, no social distance, no mask in the bars, restaurants, clubs. Freedom is back. And the COVID cases are lower, lower than the previous month, previous weeks. Despite everything is open, but we will see the next month <laughs> what's going to be happening. This is my favorite bike park. Currently, there is 1,300 spaces available. Have you ever tried it? Uh, no. it's, a, it's a new one. One and a half year ago it was opened. And it's uh, pretty good quality and there is a security inside. First 24 hours is free. You can leave your bicycle without any cost up to 24 hours. And after that, one day is like one euro something. Is, uh, I mean, for bicycle owners, it's good. I generally just put my bike, park my bike somewhere in the canals. Next to the bridge. Yeah, next to the bridge, correct. Yes. So yeah, but the, probably you are also using an old bike, right? Yes, old not, bike. Not yes. a new one. Correct. I have two bikes. One is the old. He's that's rich. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> the old yes. bike, I go everywhere with that. Then yes. I wouldn't be very sad if it's stolen. Hopefully not, but still. But the new bike, of course, I wouldn't put it in the canals. Uh, yes, yes, me, yeah. me too. I mean, if you leave your new bike anywhere in Amsterdam, probably you will not find it. Yeah, correct, correct. <laughs> One hour later, correct. it's going to be stolen, probably. Yes. Wow. And Simitsara here, the next... Uh... Yes, our proud, <laughs> proud job is there. Simit Sarayi. Oh. Here it is. <laughs> you know, on the New Year's Eve, that was the only place open uh, at 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock or something. All, Feb, even Febo was closed. Okay, normal. <laughs> Halal food, everything was closed. Only Simit Sarayi was open and they sold everything. <laughs> if there's a chance of business, Turkish entrepreneurs will not miss it. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> That's nice. That's very smart. <laughs> Car special. Maybe can we go to the other side? Let's try. <laughs> not tram, I think. We are not that Dutch yet. We don't use zebra lines. <laughs> now it's empty road. Halal food. Restaurant Gandhi. Snack it is a new place. Okay. New snack bar. It's like open Febo. like eight months ago, I think. Six, okay. eight. Yeah, similar to Febo. The other one is also stock coffee. Oh. It's a new one. You know, municipality try to close these souvenir shops, touristic places mm -hmm. in the centrum area and they try to close them and open something different. 
not something touristic. Also, they are trying the same in red zone area. They try to close windows and instead they hire that windows to the, some artists, some handcraft artists, etc. for uh, some creative jobs with lower cost. They try to change the atmosphere there and uh, they try to get rid of these red zone uh, famous <laughs> things, you know, international <laughs> fam fame. <laughs> Mana Camp is most of you know the uh, most famous fry shop. Yes. But Flam Flemings is better. Yes, you heard yes. it. I think so. Yes. <laughs> and you will wait more at this place, Mana Camps. Here's a bicycle taxi. It's a good way to explore around sightseeing. Sightseeing. If you are new in Amsterdam. Hello Tibor, welcome. Right side dancing houses. Another beautiful view. the most famous Instagrammer photo spot. <laughs> Not many people now, but during daytime, it's sometimes it's not possible to find a spot to, for taking pictures. In distance, you see the central station. It's the first building you see after coming from Hippoli Airport. If you are coming by train, you will arrive to that building, Central Station, and this is the first street you will be walking, probably. It's getting colder, I think. Yes, and windy. Wow. It's a hot weather, but we don't wear. What? What's happening? Oh. Yes, there is a McDonald's here. It's open until four o'clock, I think. This is the last chance for eating something after a crazy alcoholic night. <laughs> it's uh, unreal. McDonald's at 3 o'clock. <laughs> the people inside, it's unreal. No one is awake. <laughs> that side is... The point we started, Zaydak site and San Basilica Cathedral is over there. Actually, let's take a look to Damrak view and then we will come back. Oops. <laughs> green light. For us, green light. We'll just take a look to Damrak River and then we will go back to the same street, Prince Hendrikade. Hey Martin! Thanks, our actually last 15 minutes, something. It's already almost 40 minutes, time flies. Hi Natch! Oops! Whoa. Hey, D. McCarthy, Febo Lover. Today, no Febo. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. I think the view is nice 
tonight because the sky is clear. Yes. Here is a screenshot for you. If you want to take picture, this is the moment. I'm staying still for you. All right. Very nice. <laughs> yes, because when there is when the sky is clear, it's always it. And this spot is for budget tourists. You can just get some drink and food from Albertine, the supermarket. And there is uh, similar, something like terrace in sunny days, of course. Nice. If you don't want to spend money on the restaurants, terraces, here's a free spot. Here's also, there is another one this way, but usually it's closed. It's locked like this. But sometimes it's open so you can even sit here next to Damrak Canal. And what else? I think we can continue to Prince Enricade last 15 minutes and then we will finish. After, in 15 minutes, we will finish this walking tour and we will try some drinks with Gökberg, probably, if, I, if we can find a good Geneva. <laughs> Maybe Gökberg will try a Geneva first time. Yes. Only Let's if see. we can find a good place. Let's see. Otherwise, we will continue with beer and at the end I'm gonna visit Salsa Club, dancing club. I don't know about going back at the moment. Oops. Everywhere in Amsterdam, there are a lot of history. Look at this little building, it's from 1602. Wow. It's uh, more than 400 years ago. It was built and it's still protected. And the famous uh, Victoria Hotel? In the heart of Amsterdam. Yes. If it was in Turkey, <laughs> I don't know what happened, <laughs> what was happened. Victoria Hotel, yes. I think one of the most expensive hotels. The temperature is like 4 Celsius, I think, at the moment, 4 or 5. Before starting to the stream, it was 5. Dutch dash cam driver, yes. Two weeks ago I tried the Geneva Sint Olof Steak. Yes, there's a Prabrai. But uh, it's too crowded today. It's a small, cozy place. And in the evenings it's too crowded. You cannot find a place. Only you can take away and drink outside. The be better if you visit during the day or weekdays evening. Friday, Saturday, impossible. It's next to Apien. Okay. Other side of Apien. This is Prince Hendrikade, the name of the street. You know, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, we had a live stream tour. We walked through Brauer, Brauer's Kracht and Harlemer's Strat. This way goes to Harlemer Strad as well. Yes. If you miss tram sounds, here it is. never-ending traffic lights <laughs> but we are responsible Dutch citizens so we wait for the green light of course always here it is
This is how Dutch people use their bicycles. <laughs> Two persons together on the same bike. Two hundred two people on the live chat. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks, everyone. And today we have a special guest, Gökberk. My friend is with us. Thanks for hitting the like button to honor us. Football store. Which which team is that? Barcelona. Park? Barcelona. It's Barcelona. Yes. Oh, okay. I thought it's Ajax only, but uh, yeah, every team yes. is there. We have here Copa. Ah, oh, Italy also. Italy. There is Italy form. Correct. And the other one, also Italy. Yes, Copa. I think so. Yeah. Right. Hey, Dimitri is here, our moderator. He will be away from us until April. Until end of March. Hey Miriam. Miriam is from Canada. Hello Miriam. <laughs> Donna, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for have a good drink and nice evening. Thanks a lot. Special view for Donna. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Demirci is our moderator, Gökberk, and he is from Turkey. Izmir and he's gonna be moving to Utrecht okay. next year I think okay. currently I mean like two weeks ago uh, he and his wife uh, took their exams in Berkeley exams Very nice. in Berkeley and nice. they are they will be waiting for the results for eight weeks you know it takes up to eight weeks <laughs> you you pass all of them already um, or no not yet i'm waiting uh, the result of some of them okay how many left uh, only one left speaking speaking yes yes uh, yeah i i did the same the last one was speaking i passed the last one speaking yes, yes. Okay, this way goes to our salsa club, yes. and this way goes to the Irish bar. Uh, Probably we will visit Irish bar, I think. There is an English breakfast place here, I remember. When I first came to Amsterdam as a tourist, yes. we had English breakfast there. Where? This one? In, in, or this, next one? in single, in this uh, uh, route, I think somewhere ah. around. Ah, okay. Place called some woods or something. I think I don't know that. You don't know yes. that? Okay. But I know that there is a breakfast place like two or three hundred meters away from here at the end of the street. I think yes. That's there is always a queue in front of the, in, in, in the morning. Yeah, correct, in the morning. And this is a tapas restaurant. Okay, tapas. It's also a good one. Nice. And in cozy, friendly atmosphere, stuff is good. Tapas. Poselito tapas. Poselito tapas. Nice. And the street, probably most of our watchers know that the street Lost in Amsterdam, Cafe Lunch is located, our friends. Let's walk through this street, take a look and then we will stop the video and get some drink. It's a chilly, cold evening, so the video will be short also. On the weekend I will have three live streams more. Saturday, Sunday, follow us. Stay tuned.
Stay tuned, yes. Ladosh. This is a... Uh, there are many coffee shops and coffee lines on the streets and souvenir shops. This is also in Amsterdam, our friends. Sometimes we come through here also. The manager is Turkish. You know, right? This is a pilgrim route for smokers. <laughs> because if you start from the other side until Harlemer Street, there are so many coffee shops. This is Irish bar. I think we will try here. It's always fun here. I'm going to show it. Is this the street goes to Salsa Club? Oh no, not the other, the other one. There is a little street goes to Salsa Club. Yes, actually. correct, correct. I think yes. th this one also goes, but it's closed probably. Yeah, the other one, the smaller one. Yes, Max Day. And this is Irish bar Blarney Stone. We had visited with Sonar. And today we will be staying here just for one drink. All right. uh, let's continue until the end of the street and then we are going to stop the video. Still less touristy. Hey, I touch ground from US, my friend. Join now because there is a completely good live video from another show. Wow! <laughs> we have a competition. <laughs> Thanks for coming, I touch. Good to see you. Itach is my friend from my previous company. Hello, Itach. Hello, Itach. He, he lives in US for almost 10 years, probably. Oh, long time. Maybe more than 8 years, you know, as I know. It's a good place to finish the video in front of Febo. <laughs> All right, this is the end of video. We are gonna finish here because you know it's Friday evening and we need some drinks. We will drink something and then I'm gonna go to salsa club, some dancing. Dancing, yeah. <laughs> he's DJ, but he's not coming, I think. I won't come today. He is a bit tired today, so next time he'll come. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow after 2.30, we will be in Harlem city, Harlem. It's the same name with Harlem in uh, Bronx, United States, Chicago yes. or Bronx? Uh, yeah, I think uh, in yeah. New York, yes. All right. Yeah, next to New York, Harlem City, Harlem neighborhood. Uh, we have a Harlem City also. Tomorrow we will visit a local market with another guest. See you. Good evening. Good evening. We are in front of Febo, by the way. But we are not going to be eating. Yes, 2.30 our time. Central European time after 2.30, anytime we can stop to do video tomorrow. Also on Sunday is the same. See you Demirji, good luck. See you in April.